up guys and um, welcome to another edition of game school and today um i want to sort of talk a little bit more about the vr um headset and unit itself i've sort of just realized that i haven't really done a review so um so yeah so i'm going to talk a, a little bit about that today so first and foremost um you know it's a, it is it, December the 5th or 6th something today and um, you know there's going to be a lot of people looking at the VR headset um, for you know Christmas present and I just thought well actually you know what I'll do is I'll um, put a little review out there my first sort of recommendation about the the PlayStation VR before you go out and sort of spend your money on on the device I'd probably recommend going to a, a shop where you can just you know demo demo the the headset and get and get immersed in some sort of game um, and try maybe a couple of different games ones which are fairly stationary um, so something like the uh, shark encounter on VR worlds and possibly you know a flying or driving game something with a bit of speed to it to see whether you know is something that you can cope with um, you don't get too much um, VR sickness now this is what I did very early on um, I was you know what I really wanted to try the VR headset and see if it was something that was worthwhile spending my money on uh, but I had to search high and low actually um, because I'm, I'm quite, I was quite an early adopter of, um, of the PlayStation VR and there wasn't many shops, there wasn't many places that you could go around and, and actually um, try it out. Um, but now I think, you know, it's been in, in circulation for, for just over a year. Um, and there's, the, you know, much, you know, much easier to go and find these places. In fact, just at the weekend, um, I was wandering around one of these, you know, game store. And, you know, they had a very, they had a dedicated VR you know demo area which I think is brilliant um, so I don't think you're gonna have to sort of go too far to, to to find one of these but I would highly recommend doing that so um, the, the things you're gonna actually need um, to uh, get yourself involved in VR uh, PlayStation VR you're obviously going to need a PlayStation now a pro a PlayStation Pro or just a, a standard PS4 they both run VR and they both run VR pretty pretty good as well um, it really does depend on your you know whether you're so anoraki about the, the, the quality the PlayStation 4 I, I admit with the right cables and everything else does run um, the PS4 Pro much quicker and much better and much sharper, but it but the, the the difference is is pretty negligible, but it does run it faster that's for sure. So um, it's down to to yourself whether you want to upgrade or not. It isn't nece it isn't necessary to upgrade to a PS4 um, Pro if you haven't got one. Um, so the other things you're going to need obviously is the VR headset which you you know you plug straight into the um, the PS. Uh, four. Um, you're going to need a camera to uh, use for the, for the tracking of the of the of the VR, um, and you're going to need at least a um, PlayStation controller. Now there are some other peripherals that you can get, so things like the PlayStation Move controllers, which um, you know if you had those before uh, with the PS3 and you've still got them, they still work. Um, or you could actually buy you know some new ones but you also can you know playstation have bought a or sony have brought a um a vr aim controller out which is exact which is really a gun you know in vr it turns your turns the controller into a gun and it is very very good for the games that support it but not all games support it in fact there are very few games that support it but if you do fancy getting it then um, you're future proofing your VR unit because there are going to be a plethora of games coming through um, around Christmas and even after Christmas I'm sure of that um, so they're the sort of basics you just need a headset um, a camera and um, you know a, a standard controller that will get you through most of the games now the camera if you have got an old style camera you know the one um, that 
you know the square cylindrical style one that you got with the PlayStation 3 again that works fine there's nothing wrong with that don't worry about having to buy the, the new one the new one is just a instead of it being square it's a lit, it, it's um, uh, cylindrical in shape um, the technology is is pretty similar to be honest with you um, uh, and it makes no difference really in terms of uh, viewability or you know sharpness of picture or anything like that so we're you know that that all said we're in a very very good place for the um, PSVR now so what I would suggest um, as well if you haven't got those it would be worthwhile getting the PS4 bundle now what you get in the bundle is a headset, a camera and a couple of move controllers and uh, you normally get a demo disc and you also get normally a game as well which you know maybe whatever the, the latest game um, it, which is out when you get your bundle. Um, that's if you haven't got all of the other things because there's definitely a much cheaper option to get that as a bundle rather than buying them all separately if you haven't got them. So. They're the sort of two options. You can even get the headset on its own um, if you've got all the other peripherals. If you haven't, it's definitely worth trying to seek out a bundle version. So the VR headset is 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 a really really cool headset. Um, I've played uh, all of the other option, all of the other VR options. Um, so like the Vive and the Rift. Now they are very good, as I've already said before. Um, they're really, really good actually. The biggest difference is the pros and cons, should we say, um, uh, against the PS, PSVR are, you know, graphically, you know, you're, you're getting a better image. The, the, the single images through each um, uh, uh, Oculus is, is much sharper on these, but then again, you are running it on a much sharper um, machine as well. So, you know, graphically, yes, it's better. Um, some of the, the, there's games tend to come out a little bit quicker as well, um, or independent games, that's for sure. Um, not a huge amount of difference in it, but you know they are coming out slightly, slightly quicker. Um, and you know the, the sound and things like this are pretty comparable, really. So the things that I prefer about the PlayStation um, VR is that it is much more lightweight as well the headset itself it's much more comfortable the other ones the uh, unfortunately after a few you know after a, a short gameplay actually they, the, the headsets become quite uncomfortable um, it's really tight on your face and um, quite heavy as well so it's almost like wearing a, a diving mask on your on your head for a while and um, so so these things you know can get a little bit uncomfortable the PlayStation VR one fits out of the three fits the the, the the best for me and also is the much is the lightest by a mile um, so it's the most comfortable to wear for any long stint um, gameplay um, you know after a while you literally forget you're wearing it sound wise it, to be perfectly honest it depends what headphones you're wearing um, I you get a set of headphones with the um, PlayStation VR but to be honest with you if you've got a decent set of headphones or or in earbuds that you plug into uh, the PS4 um, headset uh, controller volume controller then um, you know I would suggest using uh, separate headphones the bigger over ear ones are pretty good you can put those on over the over the headset sort of um, section around your head or you could just put earbuds in it's totally up to you but there are better headphones than the ones you get with them the ones you get with them are okay and just to sort of um, give you sort of a excuse the pun but a heads up um, the the original PlayStation headset ha has been discontinued um, placed um, Sony now have already updated the new one and the difference in the new one or the, the version 2 uh, 2 um, is 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 really negligible but basically instead of having a converter box i think it goes directly into the playstation and also it's got some headphones um which are attached to the or earbuds which are attached to the headset but performance wise um uh, upgrading the headset is is you know 
I don't see the point at this stage. Um, so if you are buying one of the, 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 the newer ones, you know, all well and good, but you're basically, there's, there's not, there's tweaks more than anything. Um, so I would also, you know, say that, you know, the other things that, um, that I really, really like about the PlayStation um, headset as well is that it's very easy to adjust it. It really is plug and play, which I love that, that you know, the plug and play type of thing. Um, literally, you can plug it in uh, and away you go as long as the camera is sort of facing you. And it doesn't really take too much sort of, you know, technical know-how to get this thing up and running. Where the opposite could be said for things like the Vive and the Riff, where to be honest with you, you need almost like a VR room. Um, and also it's quite a fiddly setup and it is quite expensive so if you don't have these things all set up correctly it, you know it pretty much makes the thing unplayable um, which is okay you know and again if you're into that 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 sort of you know meticulous um, sort of setup great personally I just want to get home from work shove the headset on and away you go and that's exactly what the, um, Sony have, have developed with the PlayStation um, that it really really is a plus point for myself um, so the other other couple other couple of things that I really like about the, the PlayStation are the the controllers as well so you like I said you don't need the um, aim controllers at all uh, sorry, aim controller, but it, it really helps with a couple of the games that it's um, uh, that supports it. It really, really does help with the immersion of it. You've got two thumb um, uh, controllers on that side of it, and ergonomically, the thing just works really, really well in VR. So when you're looking at your gun in VR, uh, and in reality, obviously just holding the the controller, it really does feel like you're you're holding you know a gun. Um, the move controllers again. You don't need them, but again, with all the, the you know, if, you, if your whole sort of aspect of this is getting um, immersed into the, the VR world, they really make a difference. They really, really do. They're, you know, they turn into your hands, you know, in VR. So the move, two move controllers, you have one for the left hand, one for the right hand, and they literally become your hands. So they become, you know, your hands can move independently um, outside of the, um, yeah, outside of uh, you know a, a, a single sort of you know dual shot controller is all well and good, but your hands are very much stuck together, uh, or you know in one mode. Um, so that's really so it can sort of take you out slightly out of the immersiveness of it. But you can play. I think ninety nine percent of the games that you um, get with the or that the are being released for the PlayStation, the controller is fine. The standard um, dual shot controller is fine. So what I'm going to do, guys, um, you know, like I said um, before, uh, this is really just a really basic review and, you know, and I would highly recommend it. Um, it's a great piece of kit for Christmas or something like that. You'll have tons of fun, that is for sure, over, um, over, over Christmas um, with it. Um, if, you, if you do get it, that's great. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, you know, hopefully if you, love the, if you like this review or you like what I've been talking about, give us a bit of a thumbs up or an indifferent, whatever. Leave a few comments, thumbs down. Um, any sort of um, uh, comments are welcome. Um, but, you know, next time we're going to talk more, more about some VR games. Um, but, yeah, so remember um, that there's no school like the old school and I'm the headmaster.